Hey guys, Target here again. We're back now and we're actually assessing our goaltending situation. Now, one of the things I'm kind of considering here, basically in the bottom three for prospect goaltenders that are actually going to be really good, you've got, uh, is it Jack Campbell? Yeah, Jack Campbell, John Gibson, and Malcolm Subban, okay? Now, the only difference between these players are their age, and that's one year, okay? Um, now, in terms of bang for your buck, I think that Malcolm Subban is a year younger than Gibson, and five overall points lower. So I think that Subban is out because of that. Uh, mind you, his potential might spring up. And I'm looking for a goalie that might actually play sooner than later. Uh, John Gibson is 61 overall, and he's 19. And he's four overall points lower than Jack, uh, Jack Campbell. Jack Campbell's 20. All right. Now, another potential option is Kerry Lettinen. Kerry Lettinen has a low trade value. He's 86 overall, but he's going to get into his 90s. Into his 90s. You'll see. Uh... But he's got one year left, and he's only getting better. So that's the only thing about him. But he's eight years older than Jack Campbell. So the only thing is, do we want to make a, do we want to make a push for the playoffs now, or do we want to hold off? And I think the answer is holding off. So I think what we should do is pick up either Jack Campbell or John Gibson. Um, I think Jack Campbell, because he's further along in his development, would be good. He's still got three years left, and we're going to hold off on him because he's not going to play a pro uh, NHL contract for a while. So... I think we'll make a trade for Jack Campbell if, I believe it's Dallas that has Jack Campbell, is that right? Yes, if Dallas is willing to part with him. Now, they don't really want to get rid of him, but would they take Alice Hemsky? They don't want Alice Hemsky, and Alice Hemsky has very low trade value, okay? Um, but I would get rid of him. Now, there's other players that they might want. Like, let's take a look here. They don't want Ryan Smith. See, they want, like, potential players. Now, Oscar Kleffbaum is a good defenseman, but he's not going to be part of the big picture as much as I'd like him to be. In real life, he probably would be, but in the game, he's not going to be. Uh, you know, he's a three-and-a-half-star defenseman. So I'd be willing to par part with Oscar Kleffbaum. Okay? Uh, why is this not going through? What's the problem here? League approved. I believe it's because... Let's see. If I take Kleffbaum off the pallet, it's league approved. Well, it hasn't even assessed it yet. Okay. Now, Martin Marinson, however, he's got a high trade value, but he's a four-star defenseman. He's somebody that'd be in the future, so I'm not looking to get rid of Marinson. Um, or Tubert, for that matter. You know, he's got good potential as well. He's a four-star defenseman. He'll be playing in the future, too. Uh, Martin Gurnat, I believe, is also really good. Four-star defenseman. I'm not willing to get rid of players that are four-star defensemen, because I know they're going to be good. Nick Schultz, we're keeping, because he's already a four-star defenseman. And... Uh, What's Theo Peckham? What are you rated, buddy? Three and a half star. But yeah, he's replaceable. That's the thing. He's replaceable. We have a couple other top six defensemen. So and they're and they're interested in him. They're interested in Theo Peckham. And I'd be interested in dealing Theo Peckham. Okay, so let's throw Theo Peckham out there. And let's throw also Alice Hemsky out there. Where are you, Hemsky? Oh, I've gone too far. I'm not even paying attention. Alice Hemsky. Maybe we can actually make a deal for him without trading all these players away. But Alice Hemsky, I think, would be a good deal for them. Uh, we're going to have to sweeten the pot a little bit more, even, if we really want to get him. And I think this might be a good trade if we can pick him up. Uh, let's throw Corey Potter in the mix, too. Is he our next best defenseman? I can't remember who our best defenseman is after this. We'll throw him in the mix. We'll throw him in the mix. I don't need Corey Potter. He's, look at his look at his rating. He's only a three and a half star defenseman. And he's, they say he's there already. He's maxed out. So let's do Corey Potter in there. Uh, that'll bring it up a bit. I don't know if that's enough though. Okay, and then let's do. Uh, they need to give us some of their crappy trade value players, like Garbutt and. Lukowicz and Sloan. What the hell is going on here? And Wathier? Why won't they take it? You know what? It's probably the number of players. Darn it. Okay. Well, I think Gibson's out then. Um, let's do... Uh, let's, or Sorry, I think Campbell's out. Let's do Gibson. We know Gibson will get good. We know he'll be a starter for us. They don't want to get rid of him, but they probably want some more players. Like, Let's see. Look at this. They want 
They don't want Hemsky again, but we'll give them Hemsky. League approved again? Is it because of the goaltending? Yeah, it's because of the goaltending. Let's take a look at our defense, our goaltenders. Yeah, let's try and give them Samu Perinen. Oops. They'll take Perinen. I don't want to get rid of him. That's what it was. So it's Perinen. Or it's the goaltender. It's because they're giving up a goaltender. So if I give them that. Oh, there we go. And they're going to need one more. And I will give them. Because, yeah, I think Perinen or Buns. He's a three and a half star goalie. And Perinen is a three star goalie. So they can have Perinen over Buns for sure. Okay, and then I'll give them, if they want him, I'll give them Theo Peckham. Okay, so I think that that'll be pretty even. I think that they'll do this trade. I just need to take one of their low trade value players away from them. Hendry, there you go. Okay, so we'll go John Gibson and Jordan Hendry for Alice Hemsky, Samu Perinen, and Theo Peckham. I think that's a good deal. That'll free up a ton of cap space for us. That'll give us $12 million in hand and uh, $1.4 million to them. So let's see if they'll take this. I think it might need to be sweetened up with a draft pick, but we'll see. Here we go. We'll go through. Oh, they're totally unwilling to part ways with what you've requested from us unless you're giving us something spectacular. Don't waste our time. Please consult your trade block in the future. As for your offer to us, you are a bit off in the value of this proposal, and it doesn't meet our trade block, need, block needs particularly well. Okay, so it's not the best, but they'd be willing to talk. So they want my second, and I'd be willing to deal a second. So let's throw the second in there and see if that sweetens the pot. Here we go. See if this goes through, and that's going to go through. Yeah, I doubt anybody will think Anaheim came out on the short end of the stick with this trade, so it's a done deal. Um... I don't necessarily like that response. It means I gave up probably a little bit too much. I overextended, but that's okay. Uh, we now need to go back and do our roster moves. But we've got our goaltender in place uh, in John Gibson. Let's see here. We need to fix our left wingers. Yeah, so Omar's up now. Omar is up now. That's fine. Uh, yeah, Yakupov, good. And we do need to fix the defense, don't we? No, you can you can get out of here. I don't know why he's there. Why would they bring up him? Let's bring up uh, let's bring up Corey Potter. Let's send down John Hendry, who will not be playing with this team. I can guarantee you that. But now we've got John Gibson, who will be ready. Not maybe this year, maybe not next year, but the year after that for sure. So in year three, we should have John Gibson as our starting goalie because I don't like to shove them into that role until they're actually a, considered a starter, especially if I've got a goaltender in. Uh, Dubnik, who will be a starter probably next year anyway. So, let's edit our lines again. Now that we've lost Hems uh, Hemsky, we're going to have to adjust something. Uh, so, first off, Yakupov is going there. Jones is going there. Uh, let's leave PRV. Yeah, let's do that. Let's put PRV. Let's, what do they put him as a third liner? He'll, he'll level up really well then if he plays there. Um, that's pretty good, I think. We're not going to win this year, that's for sure. We're going to have a, a bit of a losing season just because of our other players here. Like, look at Yakupov. They got him as a minor scoring forward. So he's not even ready for the NHL, but we're playing him there because we know this year probably won't go too well. And the more losses, the better type of thing. It's just about development. Uh, Schultz and Petrie and Potter, that's exactly what... It, oh, no, no. Yeah, that's fine. What do they have Petrie as a six? Yeah, top six. We'll leave him there. What do they have Smita as? He's top six as well. Well, let's four star. He's four star as well. We'll leave them like that. We'll leave them like that. I think that that'll be pretty good. Uh, power play is still yeah. Well, why why do they do this? I don't understand. Flip them around like. We'll put Yakupov on there. Yeah, give him some experience. Why not? Yep. Good. Porkoff and Nugent Hopkins. Like I said, I'm gonna switch this. Good there. Good there. Do that. Good. That's good. That's good. Switch to Oklahoma. Best lines. Uh, yeah, we'll leave it like that. Okay, perfect. So we got our line set up. We got our scouting set. We are ready to begin our simulation. Let's get through the. Uh, 
Let's get through the, uh, whatever this is, preseason. We get through the preseason. I really don't expect much for this team. If we lose this season, we lose this season. That's the nature of the beast of rebuilding. They want 38 wins from us. Let's try and keep them happy. Oh, look, I'm already a, a reached rookie GM. Uh, we'll put it on, we don't need on that. I'm going to hold on to it then. I want to put it on assistant coach. Help my players get better. So we're going to see how we do here. I really don't expect much from our team, like I said a couple times now. But, uh, you know what, that's part of it. So we'll get a few wins this season. We'll, get a, we'll probably get way more losses, though. No wins in this. And this is not a good sign if you're losing in your preseason games. But, hey, we tank this season. We get another high pick. Like, it all pays off in the end. Oh, wow. <laughs> we got to shut out two games in a row. All right, so we didn't win a single preseason game, but, hey, that's just preseason. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to sim right through to November 1st. And I'm actually not too worried, like I said, about winning games. So I'm not going to be reviewing our progress too much because we know we're going to stink. We're going to smell like poop, but that's okay. That's part of it. As long as it's not a surprise, like Anaheim. Like, we seemed like we had the pieces in place. What the heck? I know you have time. Blah, blah, blah. I'll, be ha I'll be happily surprised if you make the playoffs, but won't be angry if you don't. Good, because I'm not going to make it. <laughs> Okay. You know, that, that trade really helped us a lot in the salary cap because we're going to have to re-sign players like... Uh, uh, well, Taylor Hall's big contract is going to take effect. Jordan Everly's big contract is going to take effect. There's a few contracts that are going to be pretty heavy for us. Uh, wow, two losses in a row, and they're big losses too. We knew this would happen, though. Oh, there's a win. Taylor Hall got two goals in that game. I feel bad doing this. Oh, there's another win. I feel bad doing this to some of the players like Taylor Hall, Nugent Hopkins, Jordan Eberle. You know, they're in their. This is their third season with the Oilers for well, Jordan Eberle and, and Taylor Hall, and uh, you know they probably expect to go somewhere. And here I am denying it, saying like, give us one more year uh, of mediocre hockey, <laughs> and uh, you know then you'll have a better team. But you will. You'll have a better team on the other side. So give it up now while you while you can. Look at Yakupov, four assists. Look at him. That's pretty good. Do I see a Calder? If you score, if you get a Calder trophy from a losing team, that's a that's good. That's really good. Uh, I mean, if you think about Gabriel Landeskog, he won the Calder last year. He was on a good, a pretty good team, a solid team. And Matt, they have Matt Duchesne. You know, you've got some really good players on that team. What's going on here? Oh, that's it. That's November first. Okay, so we finished the the first uh, month three five and zero. Oh. That's not too bad for a team that I expected to tank. Uh, we're 13th place in the West, and not far up from last. So New Jersey's in last, and I think New Jersey finishes last almost every time I play this game. It really sucks, because they've got nowhere to go. I'll probably never do a be a GM for them, even though they need it. I'm just kind of scared to take on that, uh, that responsibility. Uh, are we in there in points? Probably not, because we've only got three goals from Hall and four assists from Yakupov. Not up there in points, not up there in wins for sure. We're not far off, we're off by one. And we're not up there for that. We didn't expect to be. Okay, uh, we'll continue the simulation. We'll get it going a lot quicker here in uh, the third video. Uh, the second one, first and second, we're just kind of putting things together, making trades, stuff like that. So stay tuned, guys. Uh, keep your eyes peeled on my channel for more of Be a GM. All right, thanks for watching. Have a good one.